Shalom. <clears throat> All praises, glory, and honor go unto the Most High Power, Yahweh, in the name of His beloved Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that do rule exceptionally well. I also want to say shalom, citations, mercy, and blessings to all the sincere brothers that's out there that push this word with truth and with faith. My name is Thabwa A Amant of Great Millstone Northwest. Um, Slack, man, let me change this display setting as usual. I don't know why I don't ever think about it before I start recording. But uh, anyway, um, I'm Thabwa A Amant of Great Millstone Northwest. Um, uh, I don't know. I woke up and I just the thought was on my mind speaking about how we have to be a um, how we have to be a witness to everything that's going on. You know, that's that's actually a part of our um, a part of our job description being men of the Lord is to actually uh, be here and to be a actual witness of the things um, that are taking place here upon the earth. All right. More importantly, um, we have to be a witness of the actual power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, the the power of the Lord, which He is uh uh showing, you know, it, with everywhere you're looking, every every every, you know, every blink, you should be able to see the, the actual power of the Heavenly Father at work. All right, um, we're in a high time right now, man. We're in a we're in a time where the Most High is definitely definitely showing forth his power um not only in negative ways but also in positive ways as well man we got more and more jakes israelites so-called negroes latinos and native americans we got more of them waking up all right we got more people catching their um uh catching judgment uh being uh death and destruction we got more brothers being uh more diligent all right we got um man it's just it's, it's a wonderful time man it's a wonderful time for us to be here because there's plenty of things for us to be able to witness. All right. Let's look into um let's look into Isaiah the forty third chapter. Um so like, let me flip to it real quick. It's Isaiah chapter forty three, verse ten. Okay. It says, Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no power formed, neither shall there be after me. Okay? So we are here to be a witness, says saith the Most High, man, because he have chosen us to be a witness. All right? And he has put that belief into us. He has put that understanding into us, man. All right? And, it, man, like I said, we're, we're in, a, we're in a, a, a great time right now where there is many, uh, many works going on all throughout the earth and anybody with an ounce of faith will be able to see that the most high indeed is powerful and the most high indeed is um uh gearing up to be able to visit this planet man all right there's a lot of there's a lot of judgment going on going on right now all right there's a lot of judgment going on but at the same time all right on the on the other side of the coin there's a lot of uh, uh spiritual greatness that's going on as well there's a lot more uh brothers that are starting to wake up a lot more brothers who are starting to click for, you know, brothers are getting deeper. Brothers, are, the faith is being uh, increased, you know, because the Most High, he has two sides, man. He said he creates the the light and the darkness, all right? So, yeah, we can see the, the wickedness that's going on in the world. We can be a witness onto that, and we see a lot of that, and we're supposed to see a lot of that, and we're supposed to call out against it, man, all right? That's part of our job. That's why we go out. That's why we go out every single week. To, to 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 tell people about what's going on, man, because we are actual witnesses. We are true witnesses that uh, uh, witness the power of the Most High, you know, and we can witness the the wickedness as well. All right, let me grab um, let me grab another scripture. Let me go to Acts, man, because uh, Acts kind of he paint they painted up uh, uh pretty or perfectly. Um, Acts chapter twenty two. Uh, verse starting at verse 14 it says and he said the power of our fathers have chosen thee all right didn't the last scripture in isaiah didn't it say that we was chosen the most high said that we was chosen now here it is in acts it says and he said that the power of our fathers have chosen thee that thou shouldest know his will and to see that just one who's that just one that's your that's our that's our savior okay that's our king all right our Lord and Savior is Yahweh Shai, okay? To see that just one 
and should is hear the voice of his mouth. As Yahweh Shai said, his his sheep hear his mouth, man. All right. And like I like I have mentioned a couple times already, there's more brothers that are starting to wake up. There's more brothers that are starting to get it. All right. It's clicking for more and more. More and more brothers are waking up, man. And that's that's a beautiful thing. All right. That's a beautiful thing. It says, uh, verse 15, for thou shalt be his witness unto all men of what thou hast seen and heard. And that's what we do. That's why we go out there and preach is because we are being witnesses unto what we have seen and what we have heard. We can see the wickedness, so we call out the wickedness. All right. We can see the righteousness. And so we praise the most high for the righteousness. Okay. We have heard many things through these scriptures and therefore we speak it unto the people. All right. Let me grab, um, let's grab, I'm, a, I'm, ooh, ooh, you know what? Proverbs, uh, the 14th chapter, um, verse 25 kind of illustrates it beautifully too. It says, um, it says a true witness delivereth souls, a true witness delivereth souls. And matter of fact, I'm going to name this a true witness. Okay. It says a true witness delivereth souls, but a deceitful witness speaketh lies. And that's, man, that's exactly what brothers, you, you know, if you got eyes to see, you can see that going on. A true witness delivereth souls, man. All right. Through this word, through the word of Yahweh Shimei Al Shai, we are out there fishing and hunting for the elect. All right. Seeking those men that are sighing and crying of, of the abominations in this place, but also are able to, to witness the glory and the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's, that's what we are looking for. We're looking for like-minded men because that's what we do. We call, we, 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 we uh, sigh and cry about the abominations. All right? We, we complain about this place because it's, it's an unjust place. It's unrighteous. All right, righteousness does not have a place inside of uh, uh, this current society that's being ran by this Edomite, which is the so-called white man. All right, that this there's there's they they don't have a, a righteous aspect to to any of their society, and that's a, that's a vexing thing for us. But we we endure through it in order for us to be an actual witness unto the power of Yahweh Shimei Al Shai. Because when the Most High corrects this place, oh man, that's going to be a sight to see. All right. It's gonna be a sight to see, and it's gonna be uh, uh, um, it's uh, man, it's gonna be glorious, you know. It's gonna be glorious. A true witness delivers souls, but a deceitful witness speaketh lies. And you got guys that lie. You got you got uh, guys that that you know they they can see the truth, but instead of actually reporting on the truth or telling people the truth. Such as the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right, the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, or are speaking about what the actual mark of the beast is, is that they are going to push on the society. Which, if you if you really have the eyes to see, you can see that technology all throughout everything, man. You know, or that that you know that that RFID microchip technology is in everything. It's in cell phones. It's in the Bluetooth. It's in you know, it's in it's in the the, the new credit cards that got that little chip on it that you got to insert it rather than swipe. You know, I mean, it's it's all over the place, but you still got people that's out there trying to deny and trying to say that uh, uh, there is not, you know, that that the mark of the beast is not uh, that RFID microchip, man. You know, because what it is, is that that false witness, they're being false witnesses and they are deceitful and they speak lies, man. All right. And but it's OK, because they're going to have to answer to the most high for that. That's another thing that we must witness. That's another thing that we must witness is that these all these guys that's been out here faking the funk, all right, has been out here leading the sheep astray. We have to witness them uh, 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 receive their judgment as well, man. You know, we got to witness that as well. There's another scripture in the same chapter, um, verse five. Matter of fact, it says uh, a faithful witness will not lie a faithful witness will not lie but a false witness will utter lies man and we see man we see too many examples of a false witness you know we see too many examples of a false witness we should be seeing more and more examples of of of, of a righteous witness or of a faithful witness okay well you know what through the spirit we do see more examples it may not be to the numbers that we desire you know, but it's not according to us. It's according unto the Heavenly Father. All right. It's according to the Heavenly Father. Hey, bear with me real quick. Just one second. Um, uh, let's bear with me real quick. One second. One second. Salakia, but bear with me one real quick, real quick.
Okay, so lock. All right, so lock. Okay. Anyway, um, so yeah, man, hey, hey, you gotta be, you gotta be a faithful witness, man. You gotta be a true witness unto the heavenly Father, and not, not one that's lying. You know, not, a, not a lying spirit. The Most High, He's not gonna take so kindly onto that. All right. Let's jump to uh, Philippians, the second chapter, real fast. Um, Philippians chapter two, verse fifteen reads. Uh, that ye may be blameless, and this is this is this is what we really want. All right, it says that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of the Most High, because that's who we are. We are sons of the living power, joint heirs unto Yahweh Shai. If we are a member of that elect, which we hope and we seek and we strive to to be a, a member of that elect. All right, um, it says uh, sons of the Most High, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, and you can't, you man. We witness that we are in the midst of a cricket and a perverse nation, especially especially those that live here in Babylon the Great, which is commonly referred to as America, uh, the United States of America. All right. If you live here, that this is a cricket and perverse nation. But not only this, this isn't the only nation. You know, you got Britain, you got um, you got you got uh, all you got been most countries, all countries on earth is, is cricket and perverse. But this place, this place takes the cake, man. This place, America, it takes the cake. It is the leading nation in wickedness. All right. So we are in the midst of a cricket and perverse nation among whom ye shine as the lights of lights in the world. All right. Because we actually do shine as lights in the world. That reminds me of the scripture in Matthews where Yahweh Shai is speaking about your light. Okay. So let's jump to it and let's read that because it says that we shine in this cricket and perverse nation. We are shining as the light of the world. Why? Because we are being true witnesses unto the heavenly father and we are following after the heavenly father. Matthew chapter five, verse 13 reads, ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost its savior, wherewith shall it be salted? OK, so we're the salt of the earth. You know, uh, speaking about being witnesses, we're supposed to be, you know, so we are we are what really matters here, man. We are what flavors this place. OK, not this place, Babylon itself, because this place is wicked, but actually, you know, flavors the herb, Jake, Israel in, in, in the uh, in, in the, uh, the whole sense. OK, it says it therefore it therefore is good for nothing. All right. So if you actually lose your salt, how do you lose your salt? By being a false witness. All right. By being, by by not being uh, 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 truthful and honest, by not teaching the people the correct things, all right, by by realizing that something's wrong, but doing absolutely nothing about it, wanting to sit on, oh man, well, let them go out and preach. Nah, man, get your ass out there and preach, man. All right, we need help, man. The day, the, the, it says that there's there's the labor, there's plenty of labor, but the work, the work, there's only a, a, a few workers, man. All right, roughly paraphrasing the scripture. You know, uh, um, what is the laborers are few. I, I can't remember the exact quote at this very moment from the scripture, but you brothers that are familiar with the scriptures or uh, understand what I'm speaking about. All right. There's a lot of work to be done, man. There's a lot of people to, to, that this word needs to get preached to. All right. So we, we need help out here, man. All right. We need help out here. So don't be sitting your butt at home uh, thinking that. Oh, uh, it's okay, cause they they're, they they got enough people working it already. Nah, we need more people out here in the field, man. There's plenty of harvest to go around. All right. <laughs> it says um. <laughs> it says um. Uh, it is therefore good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden underfoot. So if you you lose your salt, then you're good for nothing, man. If you're not if you're not if you're if you're witnessing these things but you're not calling nothing out. You're not you're not putting forth your hand to nothing. Then you're good for nothing. All right. You're going to be if you uh, um, if you are useless right now, as far as you're not doing anything right now, you're not speaking about things. You know, you're not teaching nobody nothing. But you can see you can understand these scriptures and everything. It all makes sense to you. But you're just being slothful and sitting on your butt. Guess what? The most High is going to he's going to do that. He's going to keep you sitting on your butt, man. All right. If you don't put in no work, you ain't going to get in, get no reward, man. All right. But of course you put in work according to your measure, but you you gotta actually put in some work, man. You gotta you gotta lift your hand towards this thing, man, without wavering. You know you can't be scared out there, man. You can't be scared. All right. It says, "Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid." 
All right. So if we're the light of the world, if you got this light in you, how are you trying to hide yourself uh, behind the keyboard or uh, sitting in your basement or whatever and not actually going out there, man? You got to be a, if you're a witness, you got to be out there teaching. If you're a witness, you got to be out there calling these people out, calling out the wickedness, but also glorifying the most high for the righteousness, man. OK, it says neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. And it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Okay? So you got to be giving light unto all that are in the house. Meaning, you got to be, if you, if this word is in you, you got to you gotta speak it. You got to teach it. You know? It says, um, it says, uh, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Because it all comes back to the glorification of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? It all comes, that's the whole reason we're doing this witness. That's the whole reason we're being witnesses is so that we can glorify the Heavenly Father. We can witness the power of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? Let me, um, let me grab another scripture real quick, man. This is, uh, I'm going to flip to, uh, shit, I should have stayed right there. I'm going I'm to stay in Matthew. I'm going to go to Matthew chapter 13. All right? I'm um, not quite sure exactly where it's at, so bear with me real quick. As I um, as I skim through to try to see if I can uh pick up what I want. Yeah, yeah, okay, right, right here. Check this out. Uh, this is Matthew chapter thirteen, verse sixteen. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. So if the Most High is actually giving you, matter of fact, I'm gonna start up. I'm gonna start up. Uh, I'm gonna start at verse uh uh. I'm going to start at verse 12, all right? For whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and he shall have it more, have more abundance, okay? Because I'm telling you about being a witness and actually being a witness and, and speaking forth about what you are, are witnessing, okay? Um, to what you have, you have it in more abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away, even that he hath. So if you see... If you if you got the you got the the the, the most high is giving you this gift to where you can see and you can hear these things and you can understand that this world is wicked and that the heavenly father Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is the way, all right? But you're not doing anything about it. That means that you that means that you have not. You don't have that courage. You don't got you don't got everything that you need to be able to 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 go forth uh pushing this word and to to behave yourself as a man of the Lord. It says that it's going to be taken away from you everything that you have, all right? So even though the Most High may have given you those eyes and those ears to, to be able to see and to understand these things, if you're not putting forth your hand to the plow, the Most High is going to take all that away from you even, all right? It says uh, it should be taken away even that he have, all right? Verse 13, therefore speak I to them in parables because they see, they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. This is Yahweh Shai speaking because the disciples came and asked him why he's speaking to these people in parables, all right? Because, hey, you, you people, you got, you see, but you see not, you know, you got eyes to see, but you don't really understand what it is you're looking at, all right? You got ears to hear, but you don't understand what it is that you're hearing, all right? Verse, verse 14, and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, by hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see and not perceive. For this people's heart is waxed gross. Our people, Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and uh, and Native Americans, um, their heart, meaning their wine, is, is uh, their their mind, so like not their wine, but their mind is is waxed gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed. At least at any time they shall see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their hearts, meaning your mind, and should be converted, and I should heal them. All right. So our our people is they're they're trapped in this funk that Israel or not Israel but that um ultimately it was the Most High that put them there but it's being played out ultimately or or it's being played out physically right now by um by the Heavenly Father uh, Yahweh or I'm sorry <laughs> it's being played out right now uh, physically by Esau all right but it's the Heavenly Father that's doing it but it's being played out physically by Esau Esau got our, our people's mind in a slump and Esau again is the so-called white man. All right. It says, but blessed, verse 16, but blessed are your ears for they see and your, or, I'm sorry, blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. 
all right? So if you got the eyes and you can actually see and your ears, you know what I'm saying? You can actually see what's going on and you can actually hear this word and it makes sense to you. Hey, you should be, that's blessed, man, okay? It says, for verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them, all right? So the prophets, many prophets and kings, and righteous men of, of old have desired to actually see the things that were to be able to witness what we are witnessing at this very time and have not been able to. All right. So you should not take that for granted. You know, being a witness, you shouldn't take that for granted, man. It's, again, you got to give praises on to the most high power. You all about Shimi Shai. And you got to, you know, you, you got to you got to maintain this office of actually being a witness. You see something, you say something. All right. <laughs> You know, Esau always likes to <laughs> Esau likes to say that, like in airports and, and stuff like that, uh, at at uh, uh, vineyards, at you know, uh, movie theaters and, and uh, 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 football or basketball games, or, you know, arenas and concerts. They always want to say, "Oh, you see something? You got to say something. You see something suspicious? You say something." Hey, well, in this truth, when you see something, you say something, man. If you see something in the news come about that's according to these scriptures, hey, you make a lesson on it. If you see something. Uh, 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 the wickedness going on in the world. Guess what? You you speak about those things, man. You call it out. All right. But you, of course, you do it all in uh in good sense. <laughs> but um, pretty much that's the point, man. Uh, if I go any further than this, I think I'm just gonna be rambling. So, Lord willing, that message was received, and Lord willing, this uh lesson was edifying. Again, I'm giving all praises, glory, and honor unto the Most High Power, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders, the great millstone that do real exceptionally well. And shalom, citations, mercy, and blessings to all you sincere brothers that's out there that push this word with truth and with faith. Okay? Until next time, brethren, I say shalom.